back home after more than 200 years in the Netherlands. These artifacts were looted by Dutch soldiers when they overran the palace in Kandy in central Sri Lanka in 1765. These items were made for the king. We have very few of those now remaining. So these are very important artifacts. The items are now on display at Colombo's National Museum. They include these two guns weighing 28 kilos each. The mobile heavy artillery was used by troops of the Candian King to defend the city and the palace. The most eye-catching item of the collection is the Leuke cannon, named after the aristocrat who had it decorated for the king. So it is a very hybrid object. It was probably made in the Netherlands, then given to the king of Sri Lanka. Later it was embellished, decorated in Sri Lanka and then given to the king again. Uh, and then it was taken uh, away. Experts say most of the items were made in royal workshops of the Candian Kingdom and are a testament to the skill of the artisans of the time. They are the first ever colonial artifacts returned by the Dutch government. It's very important to look at critically, uh, reflect on the history and uh, to, well, take steps in uh, doing things right which went in the history wrong. The Sri Lankan government says it is grateful for the return of its artifacts by the Netherlands, which has been more helpful than other former colonial powers. Uh, we wrote to a, another European country asking to give uh, electronic copies of, um, of manuscripts uh, pertaining to Ayurveda. And they sent, sent us a note saying that you know, they will be charging 30,000 rupees. Uh, 30,000 pounds, sorry. And I see the irony of this. These are stolen items. We are not even asking them back. Balasurya says he hopes the moral example set by the Dutch government will influence others to return culturally significant items to their rightful owners. It's taken more than 40 years to get these colonial artifacts back to Sri Lanka. The collection is a fraction of the thousands of treasures looted and plundered and now found in museums around the world. Historians say the return is a welcome start. Binel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.